Step a whip, mm. bout to run up some milk, mm -hmm. turn me up a little, mm. I love when girls are like, well, my DMs are popping. Baby, knock it off. Single men never shoot their shot. If you've realized, it's always the motherfucking relationships that be all up in your DMs. It's really nothing to brag about. <laughs> Snapchat is a cheater's app. What do you mean by that? You cannot convince me otherwise because you'd be wrong. Yeah. I Salute to the black men's option. Seth Africa hits different. All hail passport brothers. I told this man I was cold and I wanted him to walk to the sun and physically pull it closer to me with his bare hands. Are you serious right now, bro? He got me a Nike jacket. It's cute. My favorite color. A close second, even. Nike, you have 24 hours to respond. Was this the best he could do or should I break up? Me personally, I'd have looked at her like she was crazy when she said, go to the sun and bring it back with your bare hands. But hey, to each his own. But the fact that this man went and bought you a $170 coat lets me know that he definitely takes some type of interest in you. And I can tell he ain't like no rich dude because he bought you a Nike coat. He's a man of limited resources. I ain't gonna say he broke and he's doing the best he can. So with that being said, a woman like you should take a man like him serious because he has potential and he's probably going to invest in you a lot more so than a man who already got a lot of money and just spends it because he has a lot of it and it doesn't mean nothing women don't take dudes like this serious the fact that she made a tiktok to see if he did a good job come on man that blew me Look, every female got a friend that smashed the whole city. You can't bring no man around her. She done already been with him. And guess what? A lot of dudes, we have one partner who... Let me ask this dude if he smashed her. No! God, please, no! No! Before I take her serious. I had a guy the other night surprised I'm not gay. Yeah, I don't come off... I don't think I come off gay. This guy goes, you're not gay? I was like, no, I'm not gay. He goes, you're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, oh, I'm not, I'm not gay. He goes, why'd you let me buy you five drinks? I was like, hey. Hey. Times are tough, baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't make it weird. <laughs> so even straight men and gay men get mad when they get used for drinks in the club. <laughs> That's funny as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? You buying shorty drinks and she like, I don't even like you like that, little brother. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I always found a way to be broke. I was not living check to check. I was living check to Monday. You see, check to check is when you get paid on Friday and by the next payday you broke. But check to Monday is a whole nother game. You get paid on Friday, kick it on the weekend, and by Monday you're broke. And I was making eighty, ninety thousand dollars a month, not a year. It did not matter. So the number one thing that I have to say to people is more money doesn't solve a money problem. If it did, millionaires wouldn't go bankrupt. There's only one way for us to start to you know, get on this path to being financially free, and it's to spend less money. All right, this is going to sound extremely misogynistic, but most of my audience is men anyway, so I'm going to speak the facts. Women be shopping, women be shopping. I was in a Sprinter van recently with a bunch of female family members and the whole time they was just on Amazon, boutiques. I'm like, bro, why y'all shop so much? All this stuff is like half off. It doesn't matter. It's money going out the door. You get what I'm saying? I be trying to tell them like, bro, I don't care if it's half off. If you buy twice the amount, you just spent the same amount of money that you would have spent two months ago. If the shoe costed $100 three months ago and today they're 50, but you decide to buy two pair, you only spent $100. I get it, you got two shoes, but $100 went out the window. $100 saved is $100 earned. That's what I be trying to get a lot of these females to understand, and guess what? 
women run the economy they spend the most money it's really not that hard and that's why these companies pander to women and that's why they try to censor men who talk about this stuff because it's hurting their pockets their bottom it's hurting their bottom line at the end of the day dang that's tough every man has at least one woman in his life not including his mother where if that woman were to hit him up at any point in time throughout the day, and as long as that man is not currently in a life-threatening predicament, he's dropping everything to go see her. I'm going to say this. A lot of women in the comments said that they don't have this type of guy. Well, you're not a good person, ma'am. And I can't stand when a female be like, I'm scared you're going to do me like the rest. I'm scared you're going to do this, baby. I was raised by my mama. I'm going to treat you good, you hear me? I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I honestly think the single mother home raised men are the worst men when it comes to treating women a certain type of way. You get what I'm saying? Because guess what? They mama raised them to be emotional and self-centered type of men. Let's be real. Dudes don't be worth a damn a lot of times. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So this girl wanted to go official. I was like, no, thank you. She's like, why not? I was like, well, you know, I've only hit like thrice before, so I do feel like it's a bit soon. But also, more importantly, I need you to prove what value you'd bring to my life. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I mean, like, I rock with you, but do I rock with the concept of dating you more than I rock with the concept of continuing to do what I'm doing? And I just honestly don't see it as your role, like, as of now. And, you know, I've told you before, I wasn't looking for a relationship from you. She was like, that's not how you act though. You kind of act like we're in a relationship. I was like, yeah, that's because I'm a love bomber. You know, I walk into your life with the love strapped to my chest, just ready to blow. And I blew, and I blew you away clearly. But like, you know, it, it's just what I do. Are you stupid? She was like, oh, so you didn't mean what you were saying? I was like, no, I mean every word that I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, those feelings aren't exactly exclusive to you. And it's a bit conceited of you to think that you can just solo my entire collection by yourself. Like it's very disrespectful to all the young ladies involved. She's like, oh, so you started talking to other people? I was like, what do you mean started? They've always been there. And she's like, you know what? I think you're afraid of commitment. And I was like, I am, but that's not what I'm saying right now. I'm just saying, I feel like you're overestimating your value as a love interest in my life. And she's like, what do you mean? I said, if someone offered me like a really long pair of drop earrings, you know, some chaps and maybe some like jeans that fit just right. But in exchange, I couldn't talk to you romantically for the rest of my life. I would think about it. And she was like, ah, oh, she was, she was taken aback. And I was like, not nah, like, don't take it the wrong way. Like, that's not how I value you as a human being. Like, obviously, like, way more than that. But as a romantic interest, like, I'm okay, like, if that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't need your romance right now. Like, the spark just isn't there. But maybe if we give it some time. Let's just, let's just look each other in the eyes right quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah, like, look at me, brother. I'm looking at you. I can see the pain in your eyes, nigga. That's in my eye, my nigga. Uh, Five years. Uh, Turn my legs. <laughs>